Hi, we're at IBC 2024 and we're at the Western Digital Booth and we're talking to Ruben. Hello, Ruben. Hello. It's nice meeting you, I think, for the third time here in IBC. And yeah, definitely. Always a pleasure. You too. And uh, you have uh, a few interesting products. Some were announced, I think, uh, not too long ago and some are completely new. So what well, can you tell us about I, Actually, we don't have any like new product announcement yet at ABC, uh, IBC, but we launched a couple of interesting products. Um, over the last uh, couple of months um, at NAB, for example. Um, and uh, there's a lot going on in cards for us. So um, that's where we first of all have um, two terabyte capacities. We introduced that for full size SD and micro SD cards. Um, so it's the world's um, uh, only two terabyte uh, full size SD card and the world's fastest um, micro SD card with uh, two terabytes. So that's to me, always amazing you have the size of fingernail and two terabytes capacity that's um uh, quite quite a quite a big step in terms of capacity increase this is fantastic i think for drones and maybe even for like uh, action cameras if you want to yeah. record a very long uh, uh sort of video that that can be great uh, so this this is the the first uh, card. Now you also I'm not sure if you introduced or you're just showing uh, the first uh, card from uh, SD from a different I would say line. This is an SD Express. So Correct. can you tell us about this? This is maybe explain a little bit about SD Express for people who don't know what it is. Uh, it's new standard, and that's what makes it so special because. Having a new standard um, in, in the same form factor is something that doesn't happen very often. So um, it usually, maybe only every 10 years or so, that you really have a new standard. SD Express is um, the evolution of the SD standard and it comes with significantly higher speeds. So while the fastest SD card so far, the UHS-2 cards um, maxed out around 300 megabytes per second, um, this one, the SD Express um, card, goes up to 880 megabytes per second, so almost three times the speed. Significantly faster, which means you enable use cases like um, uh, uncompressed, uh, higher resolution recording, 4K ProRes recording, stuff like that can be done with those cards. And we have them in both form factors. So full size SD, yeah. that's this one, and um, also again, the, the tiny micro SD um, card. So they are both the two terabyte cards um, will be uh, will be available and shipping soon. Uh, also, the SD Express cards will be shipping um, relatively soon towards the end of year or early next year. They will be available. A question about SD Express again. Most people are not familiar with this, so. Will you be able to use an SD Express um, card in a camera which doesn't support it for, let's say, future proofing? Not really. Not, ah, not, no, not, not, not. So that it has the same contact as US UHS two, but I mean, it, you, you can't generally say it. So um, uh, that 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 there will be cameras that um, where it probably works, but at a reduced speed. Like you have UHS two, for example, you put into a um, UHS one camera. So speed drops down, but yeah. you can't, at this stage, you can't technically say, yes, it's definitely going to work with everything. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. So it's not completely backwards compatible, but uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have to look, we'll have to look into specific cameras. And one more thing about this, uh, this is in terms of, um, well, you said that availability, you still don't know, but at the moment, are there any products that actually support uh, SD Express? There, there are a couple of notebooks that support it already, but we're, we're it's early stages. Yeah. So even though the SD Express standard as such, we showed a working demo a couple of years ago already. Yeah. And that's how long it actually takes to productize that until you really have a product that you can ship to a customer. Um, and these cards are being sampled with uh, major manufacturers. Um, uh, so there will be more devices supporting the SD Express. Yeah, obviously you can say specific uh, camera brands or something like that, <laughs> but there, there will be, yeah, it's, you wouldn't be making these if you didn't know that somebody is, is going to use them. Uh, and maybe a general question about SD versus, or SD Express versus 
CF Express, which you also make, mm -hmm. uh, in, in this case, CF Express B. How do you see the division between who is going to use these cards versus these cards or the, the, the target audience? Let's say that somebody has both SD Express in their camera and CF Express in their camera. So, so we'll have to see how the markets and how the host devices and cameras develop. But you can probably compare it to SD and Compact Flash um, a couple of years ago. Yeah. While Compact Flash used to be for the bigger, slightly more professional cameras, SD was a kind of a broader, more consumer, consumer product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and still today, the CF Express is still another technology. And even though the SD Express card is very fast. Yeah. The CF Express card still twice the twi roughly twice the speed. So it's it's still higher performance and more for the professional use. You yeah. use it in um in, in really top tier cameras like the um uh Canon ES R three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a couple of examples. Yeah. No, I I'm thinking, you know, since the CF uh, the SD Express now will support, as you said, close to nine hundred megabytes, this will encompass Say almost all cameras, not maybe the very, very high professional ones, mm -hmm. but at least on the existing ones, it can cover almost everything. But yeah. on the next generation, who knows? Yeah, exactly. The, the is, it's also cameras that are developing and the trend we see is um, performance gets higher, file sizes get bigger, resolutions get higher, um, uh, uh, the, um, the camera sensors are changing. So all that will mean uh, that there's an increased need for performance. So uh, yes, well, what you say is right. While it might cover a lot today, yeah. next generation might might be, might be different. Yeah. Okay, so this is in terms of cards, is there anything, I think that we didn't mention, we talked a little bit before this uh, interview and you mentioned something about heating, that you have an interesting, um, heat, I don't know, maybe you explain it, uh, heat conduction uh, technology inside the card or how would you describe this? Well, I mean, with cards, um, especially at that very small form factor, becoming um, higher performance products and faster, um, that generates heat and that um, requires, uh, um, let's say, additional cooling or technology to really keep a certain operating temperature. And with the SD Express and micro SD Express cards, we introduced um, a new technology to really um, kind of make sure the cards stay, the temperature stays in, in acceptable levels. It's it's a it's a software. Like, what type of technology? No, it's it's, it's basically um, it's it's hardware and the way the card is built. So mm -hmm. the also the um, uh, 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 the package, the ceiling around the card. So you wouldn't physically see it from the outside. It looks yeah. like a regular card, like a UHS two, uh, which is which it has to because yeah. it's still a cer st certain standard and form factor. So yeah. it has to be um, exactly within that spec. Yeah. This, this one is also, it's not made of like metal or something like that. It's, it's, yeah. So it's un unlike the CF, um, exactly. CF Express Type B card where you have metal housing. Um, still, that's also within the standard um, that's, that's clearly defined within the SD um, stat. Specifications, yeah. And you have here a product that I think uh, you announced a little bit earlier this year. So back in May. Yeah. May. Okay. Um, uh, that, that's a very cool one. It's our Sanders desk drive. Um, and this is meant to be your external storage device um, to sit on your desk. So um, unlike a um, portable SSD like our Sandus Extreme or Extreme Pro, for example, this is really meant to stay at your desk. Um, it has a um, external power supply and uh, connects via USB type C. The thing that's special about it is um, it comes in really high capacity. So we have four terabyte and eight terabyte capacities already available. And there's a 16 terabyte capacity coming. So um, for flash devices, um, a really high capacity point, um, which allows you to do backups to store basically everything you want to store. Um, plus, it has enough speed to do some light editing and, and, and to, to integrate it in your workflow, basically. Do you remember the, the, the read and write speed of this? Of course, it's 1000 megabytes per second. That's the kind of speed level. Yeah. So similar speed level you would expect from a uh, SanDisk Extreme portable SSD. Not, not, the, not the Pro, but the, not the yeah. Pro, but it's yeah. similar, similar speed level. Yeah. And what does the, the 
AC or DC in this case, uh, supply power supply gives you compared to just you know USB C, which usually powers uh, devices so, like this. Um, it first of all um, a very high capacity, slightly different requirements, and um, the the advantage here is that it doesn't drain power from the from the host device. So if it's setting sit sitting on your desk um, and is powered through this external power supply. That doesn't mean that power supply via the USB-C connection is, is required. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay. Uh, and this is already available in the market? That's available in yeah. shipping. You can uh, order today at the WD store and you'll have it probably tomorrow or the day after. Fantastic. Uh, any other thing that we should know? Um, that's about it. I mean, that's the that's the news we um, we brought. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's a few, a few interesting things, especially the the CF uh, Express. I think. Which yeah, is we coming. can't we can't wait to see the the first uh, uh, a couple of devices coming to to support this card. I mean, there are some already some notebooks, um, but uh, like the the bigger number of devices yet to come, especially oh, photo sorry. photography related devices. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Ruben. My pleasure. For all of you, don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out more videos from IBC on Lensbit.com. Bye.